Tesla is once again changing the game in car manufacturing. Imagine a die-casting machine so huge it can produce five vehicles at the same time, every five seconds. That's the power of Tesla's upcoming 50,000-ton Giga Press, a machine the size of a house. Elon Musk has referred to it as a giant version of a toy model factory, and that's not just a fun comparison, it's real. Tesla is the first automaker in the world to integrate a Giga Press into an electric vehicle production line. While others have tried to catch up, none have succeeded, largely because Tesla keeps innovating and pushing the boundaries of what these machines can do. It all began with the 6,000-ton Giga Press used to build the rear underbody of the Model Y. This press alone replaced over 70 individual parts with just one solid aluminum piece, greatly simplifying Tesla's assembly line. That was just the beginning. Then came the massive 9,000-ton Giga Press, specially built to handle the stainless steel body of the Cybertruck. It was already a game-changer, but now, the focus shifts to an even more powerful machine, the 50,000-ton Giga Press. The question on everyone's mind is, what kind of vehicle will this machine be used for? How can it possibly cast five vehicles at once? Let's dive in and break it all down. For those new to the concept, the Giga Press is a high-pressure die casting machine made by an Italian company called Hydra. Elon Musk and Tesla approached multiple manufacturers while developing the Model Y, but only Hydra was secretly working on the kind of enormous press that Tesla needed. These machines work by melting aluminum at extremely high temperatures. The molten metal is then injected into a mold shaped like a car's underbody. Ultra-high pressure ensures that the aluminum fills even the smallest parts of the mold with no defects. Once cooled, the hardened metal part is removed by a robot, inspected for quality, and trimmed to perfection. What makes Giga Casting revolutionary is how it reduces vehicle weight, increases structural rigidity, and simplifies production. Instead of welding together dozens of parts, Tesla now casts single large components. This saves time cuts labor, and boosts performance. While other companies like GM, Hyundai, Volvo, Zeker, and Xpeng are experimenting with similar casting tech, Tesla remains ahead of the curve. Xpeng, for example, has invested in a 16,000-ton press, but that's still far behind Tesla's newest beast. When Elon Musk first mentioned the 50,000-ton Giga Press, it seemed almost unbelievable. The sheer scale of this machine raised questions, where would Tesla install it? How long would setup take? And most importantly, how would it build five cars at once? Musk explained that with this new machine, every step, from pouring molten aluminum to cooling the mold and extracting the finished part, would be fully automated. Each cycle would take only five seconds. That's faster than the blink of an eye. To understand the scale, imagine a machine the size of a two- or three-story building turned on its side. It would likely need a dedicated facility with a deep, reinforced concrete foundation just to support its enormous weight. Compared to Tesla's 6,000 and 9,000-ton presses, this new Giga Press offers 8.3 and 5.5 times more pressing force, respectively. Experts estimate it will be about 20 meters long, up to 15 meters tall, 12 meters wide, and weigh over 3,000 tons. The process remains similar to previous presses but on a much larger and more advanced scale. Tesla starts by melting aluminum ingots and leftover scrap in a furnace heated to about 850 degrees Celsius. Then, the molten aluminum is moved through sealed, heated pipelines to a holding furnace, which maintains temperatures between 750 degrees Celsius and 850 degrees Celsius. A nitrogen-rich environment prevents oxidation, while argon gas and filters remove impurities. Before each casting, a robot sprays about 35 milliliters of soybean oil onto the mold surface to act like a non-stick layer. Another robot lubricates the high-speed piston with around 8 milliliters of oil before injecting the aluminum into the mold cavity. Once injected, the aluminum cools and hardens. The part is removed at around 400 degrees Celsius and then dipped in a cooling bath to quickly drop the temperature to about 50 degrees Celsius. The mold is then cooled to 185 degrees Celsius and cleaned, preparing for the next cycle. 
This entire process, from injection to cooling, takes only about one to two minutes. Any leftover metal is trimmed and recycled for the next round. Each finished part undergoes X-ray scans to check structural integrity. One of the biggest technical challenges is preventing the mold from bursting open under extreme pressure. The machine must clamp the mold shut with incredible force. With a 50,000-ton giga press, that clamping force is unimaginable. Elon Musk explained that Tesla had to invent new solutions like an ultra-fast cooling system, a smart mold release mechanism, and an AI-driven inspection process to make this all possible. This marks the first time the auto industry has adopted a manufacturing style more similar to electronics production, fast, precise, and space efficient. Interestingly, Tesla has also redesigned the rear giga cast section of the Model Y. It's now 7 kilograms lighter, requires 50% less machining time, and is 15% more rigid. These improvements boost both performance and driving dynamics. Tesla has also introduced conformal cooling, where the mold's cooling channels follow its shape, allowing cycle times to drop from 170 seconds to just 75 on the 6,000-ton press. Despite these innovations, the new Model Y doesn't use front giga casting. That's because Tesla wants all parts to be interchangeable across factories to reduce supply chain risks, so it uses a unified global design. Experts believe Tesla is saving its casting capacity for the upcoming Cyber Cab, a highly anticipated vehicle that Elon Musk says could be made in just 5 seconds. Thanks to its simplified structure, the Cyber Cab could be produced faster than any other vehicle ever. Its entire chassis could be made in one piece. Compared to the Model Y, which has about 200 structural parts, the Cyber Cab will have only around 80. That's a 60% reduction which will streamline both assembly and quality control. To put this in perspective, the Model Y is currently produced every 35 seconds at Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai, the most efficient car factory in the world. But with the Cyber Cab and the 50,000-ton Giga Press, Tesla aims to produce one every 5 seconds. That's 7 times faster. If Tesla runs two production lines at this speed, it could build over 178,000 cyber cabs every week or more than 7 million per year, assuming a 40-week schedule. Tesla has even projected building 2 million cyber cabs per line by 2026, which might require slowing production just to manage demand and capacity. Beyond just speed, this manufacturing model cuts production costs and improves margins, making affordable EVs more accessible. But what's truly exciting is how this new process could scale globally. Tesla's Cyber Cab is just the beginning. The same techniques will be used in the upcoming Model 2, which will feature similar Giga Cast chassis but include a steering wheel, pedals, and five seats. Elon Musk is confident Tesla can build a truly affordable electric car, even as material and labor costs rise worldwide. Without Giga Casting, this goal would be nearly impossible. With it, Tesla isn't just building cars, it's building the future of manufacturing. Each cyber cab is produced not by workers on a long assembly line, but by AI and robots working in harmony with molten metal and machine learning. It's the ultimate blend of automation, engineering, and visionary thinking. Just like Elon Musk said, it's like scaling up a toy factory to full-size vehicles. The result? A new era of ultra-fast, cost-effective, and high-performance electric cars, born from a machine that reshapes the auto industry, one five-second cycle at a time.